everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my July favorites for you and I have a plethora of items to cover. Most of which are new, only one I think is a recurring favorite. So yeah, if you watch any of my recent haul videos, you might recognize some of these products, but let's go ahead and hop right in and I'll start with my hair care item, move into skincare, and then finish off with makeup and nails. So the first item I've been loving is actually my shower, but I have the box right here. And this is the Orbe Gentle Conditioner, Ultra Gentle Conditioner. Um, it's a daily conditioner for your hair. What I like about this is it conditions your hair without weighing it down. So since my hair's been a lot healthier lately, uh, I've stopped dyeing it. I've had about this much of virgin regrowth in my hair. I have not touched the hair dye in a long time. Um, I've been able to switch up my conditioner a little bit more because I'm not as damaged as before. I just kind of have, you know, some damaged dried out ends. But who doesn't? So this stuff doesn't detangle my hair as good as the uh, macadamia deep repair mask, but it's just a regular conditioner. I really like it. It leaves my hair weightless, bouncy, and really nice and conditioned. Moving on to skincare, I have some facial pads. These are by Bella Schneider Beauty. These are the Mini Peel Pads Multi Acid Complex. Now, the company sent these to me for review. I'm going to be doing a full in depth blog post on these, going into more detail, but basically, these are a daily uh, light face exfoliant. A treatment that you can use every, it says AM and PM, but I would only use it, you know, I would say five nights a week because it's pretty strong. They are little pads that you peel off. I think you get 60 in this container. And they are for oily and blemished skin. They are a dual salicylic and glycolic acid formula. So it's formulated with willow bark and a lot of other natural extracts. I believe they also are paraben free for sure. And they're just really good at refinishing the skin, exfoliating, uh, revealing, you know, brighter, younger, more, more youthful skin. And uh, just keeping my acne uh, under control and just making sure I don't scar as much as before. So I've really been liking these and they're an absolute treat. It's a little bit of a luxury product, but definitely not something that's obscenely expensive. I think for a facial treatment, this is definitely something you should consider if you struggle with oily skin uh, or looking for a pad type exfoliant that you can use gentle enough uh, several times a week if not every day uh, something really good here I love this and it has this willow bark scent that kind of smells like whiskey or scotch uh, so that takes a little bit of getting used to but I really like what these pads are doing for my skin and yeah I definitely recommend these next up for skincare I have definitely a luxury product here Three Labs Skin Care's Perfect Cleansing Scrub. Now, this was recommended to me by the esthetician at the Three Lab counter. Uh, her name's Maria. She works at the San Francisco Barney store. Love her. The, she recommended this cleanser to me when I got a facial there. And what's really nice about this, um, she's in her 50s and her skin looks amazing. And, you know, people always ask her, she was telling us um, when we had a beauty party there, um, what is the number one thing that keeps her skin looking so youthful? Like, what is your number one strategy? And she says, exfoliate every day. And that's a little bit scary because you don't want to be over exfoliating your skin, um, irritating your your pores and it can cause breakouts and skin, skin flare ups and that kind of thing. You don't want to be doing that. But the caveat is using a gentle exfoliant. And this is the Perfect Cleansing Scrub by 3Lab. It's gentle enough to use every day but one time a day. So every AM or every PM. I use it AM and it's a nice jelly type. Um, Cleanser, you need the tiniest amount. I'm telling you, this thing's $65, but you need a less than a pea size amount to really um, get nice results on your skin. The granules in this are actually jojoba beads. The jojoba beads are gonna also moisturize your skin while you know working at uh, sloughing off the dead skin. So it's like a dual action cleansing scrub. I love it. It's really gentle. Again, I only use this once a day in the morning in my uh, AM shower and I really love it. So definitely if you are at a three lab counter, see if you can try this out um, and just feel the texture for yourself because it's really awesome. Next up is another three lab skincare product and this is definitely a luxury product right here. This is the perfect neck cream and I did haul this in my birthday haul. I actually bought it in May. So I've had it for a while. I've been using it uh, religiously, you know, night and day for every day in July. And I gotta say, the skin on my neck is a lot more supple. I don't think it's like reduced any wrinkles or creasing or like ugly veining I've had. It just has really refinished the skin, so I think it's going in the right direction. I don't think this is a miracle worker just yet. I can't give that kind of praise to it. 
but definitely when it comes to like the suppleness of the skin on my neck and decollete area definitely improved when you think of buying a neck cream you know you ask yourself why don't I just use my facial moisturizer when in fact you're gonna waste a lot more money using your facial moisturizer on your neck and decollete because um, it's a lot more expensive from some of the luxury uh, moisturizers that a lot of us use so basically you get two ounces of this it comes with a spatula you scoop out a tiny little bit and the littlest bit goes such a long way warm it up in your fingers and like move it up and down behind your ears your neck um, decollete, and lymph nodes, everywhere. And it just feels really good, it wakes you right up, um, it has a really nice silky finish to it. And yeah, this is really pricey, I believe it was $130, but it's gonna last you a really long time. Like I said, two fluid ounces, you need a tiny amount, uh, probably a pea size or less. I've really been liking the neck cream and definitely drank the Kool-Aid on this one. I've been liking it. Next up is some makeup I wanna talk to you guys about. First is this tiny, teeny tiny sample of Color Science Mineral Powder. This is called the Sun Forgettable Mineral Sunscreen. It is broad spectrum SPF 50, water resistant up to 80 minutes. And this is a titanium dioxide and zinc oxide mineral powder. It actually has coverage to it. So um, I'm, the shade I have is medium and it comes out like this. I'm going to get it everywhere. But basically I take my flat top powder brush dump a little bit of this into the brush and I just dust it on like the tops of my forehead, tops of my nose, underneath the eyes and like on the you know chin and tip of the nose area because those are the areas I tend to get sunburned the most and I just want to keep those areas very protected. I've already had a couple bad sunburns this summer so yeah it's a really good size to keep in your handbag just to touch up and obviously this powder has a little bit of coverage to it too so it's really nice and the finish is absolutely gorgeous it is a very photogenic type um, softening finish it does not look cakey at all I feel like it's very forgiving and you're not gonna apply too much even if you apply too much it's impossible to apply too much you're not gonna see it on your skin so I've really been liking this for every day and I don't think I need to like set my under eye with it or anything like that it's just more like a finishing powder for me um, and it's nice that it has the little bit of extra coverage to it. So, yeah, been liking this, and once the sample runs out, I'm definitely going to buy a full size. Okay, next up is Oldie But Goodie. This is, I think, the only reoccurring favorite product in this uh, favorites video, but it's the MAC Eyeshadow in Satin Taupe. And, of course, I'm not wearing it today, but I've worn the shadow... Oh, I've also hit pan in the shadow. Um, I would say I've worn it at least, you know, the last two weeks of July, if not more, every day to work because it's one of those, like, really nice satiny eyeshadows that you, once you put it on, it does the work for you. It's really easy to make this eyeshadow look nice and blended, and it gives a really complex depth to it. Uh, a lot of dimension in the shade. Really great cult classic favorite eyeshadow from MAC. Once this runs out, I will definitely buy another one, and I just can't get enough of it. Of course, I'm not wearing it today, but can't recommend this enough. It works well on everybody's skin tone. And last up are two nail polish favorites I want to feature real quick. These are brand new. First, this is the Wet n Wild Whip Topping White Nail Polish. This is a cream formula. I got this at, let's see, Dollar General, and I think Dollar General, well, I was in Missouri. We don't really have those in my area here, but who was I watching? I was watching Leanne Says, and she was saying that they do have some Dollar General exclusive shades, so this might be one of them. I'm not too sure. You'd have to double check, but I've really been loving this. It's opaque in one to two coats. It's very, very nice. Um, it lasts a long time, and I never thought I'd be one to rock the white nails, but I really liked it in July, so we'll see. Um, really nice with uh, short nails and really nice, obviously, with long nails as well, so yeah, I've been loving this polish, and it was only $2. And last up, let's talk about what's on my nails right now. This is by The Balm. It's the Hot Ticket Nail Polish in Coral Refined, and you can find this on The Balm Cosmetics website. You can also find it on Nordstrom.com. It's just this gorgeous peachy coral color, really nice cream finish to this. I love it. It's on my nails right now. It's lasted about a week with a little bit of chipping on my index fingers, but that's normal. This color was opaque in two coats, had no problems with streaking or bubbling. Really good, nice color, and I want to try more of their polishes in the future, definitely. Really good color from the balm. 
Alright you guys, so that's about it for my July favorites. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I have just hit a thousand subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway very soon. I'm actually going to film that next. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Also, I'm going to have a write-up for this whole video on my blog, ChelseaPearl.com. Please go check that out for more information, links on where to buy the products, etc, etc. I would really love if you check that out. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you very soon in my next video.